And here's another recipe from my Pop It in the Toaster Oven Cookbook, which you can buy anywhere, and it's on page 183, Country Bread. And what I write about this recipe is that my grandmother always had dough rising in a bowl covered with a damp towel on the countertop. It's yeasty fragrance permeating her kitchen. The promise of rolls or bread to be baked later was, and still is, a primal comfort for me, like a glowing fireplace on a cold winter evening, or hot bowls of soup and candlelight in mid-winter afternoon. So anyway, we have to start out with the yeast. So we have a big, a large bowl here, and then here's the yeast, and this is a, a, an ounce and a quarter packet of um, active dry yeast. So also a teaspoon of sugar and this is room temperature milk and it is a quarter of a cup and in this case it is skim milk. So I'm just going to stir this a little bit and then I'm going to wait for it to activate and that should take about 10 minutes. So that was the 10 minutes. You can see that the yeast is dissolved. It's no longer granular and it's foamy. So I think it's now we're ready to add the other bread ingredients. So that's going to be two and a half cups of flour. two tablespoons of oil, in this case it's vegetable oil that I'm using, one egg that's beaten, two teaspoons of sugar, and for my taste I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm going to blend this really well. Now depending on the flour you're using, in this case I'm using unbleached flour, so I have to add a little more water. You want to be able to pinch the dough together and it should stick together. So um, Usually you turn the, the bread dough out onto a floured surface, but I've found that um, I can pretty much knead it in the bowl. <laughs> All right, so I kneaded the, the dough until it could form a ball and it was elastic. So I'm going to put it back in the bowl <clears throat> and I'm going to put a nice, clean, damp cloth over the bowl put it in a warm place and I'm going to wait an hour and uh, check the dough to see if it has risen. The dough has pretty much doubled in size so I'm going to just punch it down like this and knead it for a few minutes. I'm place this dough into, this is an 8 by 2 by 4 bread pan. I'm just going to put it in like that and then I'm going to cover it with the damp towel again and put it in a warm place for about an hour. Now I have preheated my toaster oven up to 375 degrees so I am going to I uncovered the loaf which had risen and I'm brushing it with a little oil. There's the loaf of bread dough. And it goes and I'm going to set the timer for 30 minutes. Oh, it's beautiful. <clears throat> Can't wait to have a slice. That smell is, I don't know, <laughs> it is the best smell in the world. The whole kitchen is full of this wonderful baked bread aroma. Hmm, how about just butter on this? It's still warm, so it's going to melt. 
Got some time to make your own bread. It's well worth it, and you can do it easily mm. in the toaster oven. <laughs>